Good morning. I'm back on the vlogs. Let me make sure that <laughs> my camera is recording. So I wanted to come in here since it's like a beautiful bright day. Ugh. And say a little prayer. Because I feel like I feel like I needed to. I had a little thought to myself and then I had some prayers yesterday. Yesterday I had work yesterday, so I was at work. Duh. <laughs> yesterday I was at work and um, it was Sunday because I worked the weekend and it was um, church day, so I didn't go to church. Any days that I work the weekend, I don't get to go to church that weekend. So I just had some 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 thoughts and stuff anyways I wanted to say like a prayer I pray a little differently well I mean I don't know differently but I just pray a certain way so I just wanted to say some things for for everybody what was been going on in my head so let us all close our eyes and go in a place that's like quiet a place that makes you happy and just get lost in your thoughts and all the things that are going on in your head. All the things that worry you. All the things that bother you. All the things that make you scared. All the things that make you doubt. Doubt yourself. Doubt your abilities. Doubt your goals. Doubt if God is hearing your prayers. And flood all those thoughts to your head and let them just drain, drain out of your body, drain out of your soul, drain out of your thoughts, drain out of your peaceful place and let all the content, the happiness, the faith, Come into your spirit, come into your body, come into your mind, come into your soul. So we ask God today to help us not to forget that he does hear us. Help us not to forget that he always sees us through. Help, help, help us not to forget that he is always good. Help us to remember that everything is in his plan, everything is in his time. So those times when we feel frustrated, those times when we feel like I'm doing all this and I don't see any results, all those times where you've put in so much energy, so much of your your spirit, so much of everything that you wanted to do and you don't see anything going, you don't see anything progressing, you don't see anything happening, help us remember that everything is in his time, everything is in his plan, and sometimes we just have to let things go after we've done so much and we've, you know, prepared ourselves for so many things that we wanted to do and we don't see the results. Help us to remember that it's in his time, so let it go. Trust in him. Trust in his time. Trust in what he wants for you. And I know that it's hard for us to see that sometimes. It's hard for us to understand that sometimes. It's hard for us to accept that sometimes, but we must not forget that he is in control. So we have to let a lot of things go that we cannot control, even though we've been trying so hard. Help all the students out there that are in school, struggling in school, maybe doing well in school, but not sure where they want to end up career-wise. Help the students that are trying to figure out what their path is in this world. Help those students trying to pay for school. Help those students that are just about to graduate and they haven't seen any job opening for them. Give those students the, the mindset and the strength, the dedication, the focus, the, the the determination, the motivation to know that I can control what my tasks are to do, but all the opportunities that lie ahead, all the blessings that lie ahead, all the doors that will open for me that lie ahead, 
All I can do is prepare myself to be ready for them. But God is in control of what my path will be. Just remember that. Those days, you students that are sad, crying, frustrated, stressed out, sometimes just think to yourself, I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to be happy and do my thing. And what will come will come. What's meant for me will, will be for me. What is there for me when I get to that point will be there for me. All the people that are in their careers, maybe looking for jobs out of school, been out of school, looking for jobs in that middle place of trying to find themselves, trying to find where their path is supposed to be. Maybe trying to find friends, maybe trying to find a partner, maybe trying to find that job, maybe trying to find a house, maybe trying to find a car, maybe just trying to find the money just to get to that place. Just remember that all you can do is prepare yourself for what all the opportunities and goals that you want to achieve. But at the end, God is the one that will steer you in the, correct, in the correct path. So those days that you feel sad, you feel lonely, you feel frustrated, you feel scared, you feel poor, you feel broke, you feel scared, embarrassed. Just remember that. God is always good. You will see things through. I, I promise you, everybody looking for a job, looking for a place to live, looking for a car, looking for money, broke, don't know where to go, don't know what to do. Just remember that God will see you through. I promise. Tell me when he has not seen you through. Remember those times that he has seen you through and you're like, God is good. I see you. I know you hear me. Remember those times and keep strong because he will see you through. Keep focused. Just always remember that do what you can do for yourself. Prepare for yourself so that when that opportunity comes, when those blessings come, when when the roads open up, you are prepared. You are ready to just prepare yourself. For all the moms, the parents out there, the ones that are expecting children, the ones that have children, children that are little, children that are middle middle in like teenagers. Children that are in college, children that are out of college, children that you see your children about to be married, about to have their own kids. All the parents out there, I talk to you with the ones that have little kids, the ones that are preparing for kids. You know, preparing for kids is not something that you read a book about. Preparing for kids or having kids, even in grade school, little school, um, high school, all you can do is just be the best person, be the best version of you that you can be for your children so that they can see that they, will, they, that they have someone behind them that's supporting them, that is strong, that will advise them, that will gear, gear them ready for, for the world. Tell them in the right direction, always there to help them. All those moms out there that feel like I can do so much more or I know I have more that I can give to this world or I know that I have more potential to show for this world. Give them the strength, give them the motivation, give them the opportunity, the drive to know that I know there's something else that I can do more and I'm going to do that. I'm not scared that I have children. I'm not scared that I have a house to take care of. I have a husband to take care of. I, I have no money to do what I want to do, but I know that I, there's something else that I'm supposed to do. So... I'm going to open my mind, open my spirit to what I am supposed to do, how I'm supposed to get there. All the, all the moms out there that feel like maybe they're not appreciated or feel like they have so much going on, but they haven't had time for themselves. I pray that you continue to pray, continue to have the strength to fill out your potential and to do all the things that you want to do. Do not give up. Be strong. Be happy. And don't forget that you can do everything and you can do it all. And still be a great mother, a great wife, a great daughter, a great friend. I pray for all those people that are in relationships or coming out of relationships or that are looking for the right relationship. I pray that your mind, your body, and your soul, and your eyes are open to see what is right for you and what is not right for you. The good 
and the evil. I hope that you can see what you want your life to be and the way you want your life to be, that person has to be able to fit into what you dream your life to be. Full of life, full of happiness, full of faith, full of togetherness and union. <clears throat> so all those other relationships that may be questioning, are they in the right relationship? Maybe think to yourself or maybe find the strength to say, maybe I need to get up and move on. All the ones that just came out of relationships that are still trying to find themselves. Just remember that that person that is meant for you is out there and God will guide you to them. So do not feel like you have to go out and look. You don't feel like you have to go out and search. Don't don't feel like you have to flood your mind with all the things of where 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 are they? Who am I supposed to be with? Why not why am I not with somebody? Why am I why is my relationship have why has my relationship failed? All you need to do, and I want all all you to remember to pray and to just prepare yourself so that when that person comes into your life, the person that God wants for you, wants for you in your life, that you are ready for them, that you you're ready for them and see that this is the person that's supposed to be here. Pray that you can do all in your power, all in your resources, just to make sure that everything that you do, everything that you are, that you're happy with so that when that person comes, you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to get yourself to where you want to be, but just continuing in that process because you're already there to be the best person for that best person for that future partner for yourself. All those people that are looking or are ready to settle down, looking for that right person, just trust that that God will give you that person. So just be happy, live life, travel. Make new friends. Explore the world. Try new things you haven't done before. Go to places you've never been before. So that when that person is here for you, that you know that you are happily waiting for them. Living life while you wait for them. And that when that person comes, you have all the life stories to tell them. And just telling them that I waited for you. God brought me to you and I knew he would bring me to you and I'm happy that you're here. So all the people that are struggling to find out, I need just one answer. I just, I just need a sign. There's something I'm supposed to do, but I don't know what it is yet. Some, maybe those people that are just struggling with that one thing, like I just need this one thing. This one thing that can change my life in one direction or change it for good, change it for bad. Maybe that one thing that you just keep praying about every day. Let it go and just know that God has heard you. He is hearing you and he knows what he wants to do for you. So don't let it stress you out. Don't let it hinder your your daily activities. Don't let it dampen your spirits just get up smile be happy and just know that what's meant for me will find me i may not know what it is i may not know how to get there but i know that when it's that time i know that this is what it is so for everyone in every stage of life everyone struggling with everything everyone trying to find the answer let it go let god he will always see you through he is always good and know that you will be strong, you will be happy, you will have faith. And that life is life. There's going to be good times, there's going to be bad times. But all these journeys, all these ups and downs is what makes us who we are. It's what makes us have our own life story. It's what, it what makes us build character. It's what makes us be able to be strong enough so that when that thing that we're asking for comes, that we are ready. God just wants us to be as strong as we can. So I ask this for all these people that need prayer, all these people that need a, a way, all these people that need an answer. Help them, God. Amen. All right, so I'm heading to the gym. 
So it's officially like the next stage of my weight loss journey. So I have to kick it in. Today's the first day to kick it into high gear. So it's gonna be a tough one, but every day I'm gonna get strong and do it. I have my hair up in twist because I have a hairstyle I'm gonna do today. I got the um, her given hair, the kinky curly clip-ins. Been wanting to try those for a while. So I got those and I had to twist my hair up last night. So I'm not really sure like how I want my hair to be ready for it. So I just twisted it up. And um, so, but I had to go to the gym so I had to figure out like a way. So hopefully I look all right. <laughs> Everybody calm down, calm down. There's a bug in the car. Okay. How the hell did it get in there? And how the hell do I get it out? Oh God. Ugh. It's one of those stink bugs. And I just need it to just to get out. Like get out, I have things to do. Oh Lord, I have to on myself. Get out! Get out, like is it dead? Jeez, get out. Oh my gosh, it's probably dead. Uh, I can't get it out of here. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Like, seriously? <sighs> get out of my car. You dirty bean. Get out. Get out. <sighs> oh, Lord. renew my license and my registration I'm not saying what should I do it today and tomorrow I'll probably do it tomorrow because I really wanted to like film today so I just want to make sure I have all the time to do that okay let's see if this camera stays like this <laughs> if it does I'm great I don't know if it'd be bumpy or not okay I have a bump coming up are you gonna stay oh it stayed <laughs> okay yeah I have um what I just say? He has to renew my license, so I'll probably put it tomorrow. Because I have to film a couple videos today, so. Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. So, yeah, today I just have to film some videos. So, um, thank you guys for all the love you've been showing on my videos lately. Um, as I was saying, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do like more hair videos, more affordable hair videos try this company try that company so I've been getting into them little by little <laughs> so um, as I said I have a her given hair um, kinky curly clip-ins to try I'm excited for that because that will probably be like my go-to hair for this summer <laughs> so many hair sounds for the summer but I think that won't be my, my favorite so we'll see how that goes and then um, what else do I have coming up oh yes this Be best lace wig I think it's best lace wigs are are Arita lace wigs. What? I probably look crazy. Any other hair request videos or a company that you guys want me to try? Like, tell me, send me an, a message, just write in the comments below, cause I'll try them. Cause I love doing my hair, seriously. So, um, let me know if there's like a company that maybe you want to try, but you're not sure about. You know, like, let me know, and I will try them. And then, um, yeah, so thank you for all of you been trying my videos. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, my birthday sale on my website, Encoma.com, has been going crazy. I have, like, orders to process, like, every day. Like, well, I always have orders to process, but, like, it's been so much because of the sale. So it's just, like, crazy. And when I came back from home from work, I'm just, like, 
you have 30 orders in your queue <laughs> to process from the last hour. <laughs> I'm like, I just did that this morning and I have 30 more. So um, thank you guys for all the birthday sale stuff and the support. Thank you so much. And you guys are sending me your pictures from the from your orders and stuff, getting the mail. So send me more pictures so I can share them. Thank you so much. And then, um, what else did I want to say? Oh yes, yeah, so I did a, a try on haul video from like, I think it was she in uh, Eric Dress and somewhere else, some other company, but um, you guys really, really like that. So um, I said, let me do another try on haul from another company. So I was, you guys were seeing everybody doing these Zaffle try on hauls, Zaffle bikini try on hauls, swimmer try on hauls. So I have to see if Zaffle is really all the hype it really is, or is it just, you know, just for the views or just for like sponsored videos. So um, I got some stuff from Zaffle that's coming in the mail. Um, I only got two, I think I did one or two bathing suits, but I got the rest clothes because I'm trying to get clothes for, you know, my bachelorette weekend. I need some outfits and stuff. So I want to see like, is that full, like really that good? Or should I just go to like Fashion Nova, which is reliable? <laughs> so we'll see. But um, I'm excited for that. And then um, Eric Dress, I got some more stuff from there. I think, I think some shoes, I think so. I need some like good sandals for the summer so yeah so some things are coming up if you guys have any re video requests for other things like let me know like video requests and stuff um, I have a whole list of things I want to do and you guys send me requests all the time but just to make sure that I'm I'm enjoying the content that I'm putting out and then you guys are enjoying too and then I'm able to fulfill the requests for certain videos and stuff like that so just let me know let me know and I'm trying to vlog more. Some days it's just like, some days and weeks this month have just been really just like not good. Too busy, too much stuff going on that it's like, I have to like want to vlog to be able to like, you know, enjoy it. So that's why today I picked up the camera. I've been feeling good. The weather outside is beautiful. I'm not working today. I'm off tomorrow. So yes. Ah! You guys are falling again. Anyways, I'm off, off to the gym. My LA Fitness is gonna be my BFF, BFF, FF, 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 for the next stage of this weight loss. So, yes, yes, yes. So, I'm going to be watching one of my vlogs. <laughs> you know, like I vlog because you guys enjoy it, but I also vlog so that when I I can go back and like watch like what I did like last year two years ago because I watch my vlogs over again just for my self satisfaction so <laughs> my self entertainment so yeah so I, I do vlog for myself mainly so I can look back on my memories but you guys enjoy it too so we vlog for everybody alrighty I hope it's not busy it's a Monday though Oh, that's my car wood. My allergies are so bad right now. So I always have allergies during this time. Once in a blue moon, some years, I it won't be bad, but this year it's it's like, you know, not good. So my nose is the gym looks kind of crowded. It's usually like old people in the mornings during this time that are working out. So yeah, allergies are bothering me. My nose is so itchy. Junior, Inky and I get have really bad allergies, like seasonal allergies, but Junior actually has it the worst. The worst, the worst, the worst. So I hope Junior's allergies are, I, don't, I haven't talked to him in a couple of days, so I don't know how he's doing with his allergies, but he gets them really bad. <laughs> really, 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 really bad. Anyways, I'm not gonna waste time. I got things to do today, so we cannot chat in the car for 20 minutes. <laughs> But I will see you guys after the gym. Maybe I'll vlog when I get in there. But it's just like, I want to, but then it's like, my little bag that I take in there, this one, it doesn't fit my camera. So it's just like, I don't want to take it. Just got back from the gym and I missed a package. I don't know which package this is, because it's FedEx. I have to
to go and check it. Who was I expecting the package from today? FedEx. But anyways, I got another one from DHL. And I think it's the um yeah, best lace wigs that I ordered. So let's take a little look at it. Why don't we? So I got the Kinky Straight um, Lace Wig and it's 20 inch, 150% density. So I am ready for this. So ready for this. Oh, it's in the powder brush. That's nice. Oh, it's an elastic band. I'm going to have to use this I never used them before. So look at that later today. So I got. A uh, new, some new hair from Zuri actually. You guys really liked my, um, my colored wig, my colored wigs from Black Hairspray. So I said, um, I think you guys, and like I think half of them are from Zuri or something. I think two are from Zuri. So um, I got some hair from Zuri. Thought you guys would like this. So it's, um, let's see, Sistar hair, human, 100% uh, human hair. I think it's treated with argan oil, it says, but I got 1B 18 inch, so three bundles of the 18 inch, and then I got a closure, and um, let's see, silk top closure, Remy hair, you can bleach it, perm it, and dye it, so I'm excited for this, so it says not free, it says not free, realistic scalp, deep and wide part, so... I love deep parts because it makes it more realistic. Because sometimes closures that are too short, it doesn't look good. So this says deep. So I'm here for this. So I'm about to make this wig. And I will make a complete install video. Like a complete like how to make a wig from step by step. Because you guys are requesting it. So I said this would be the perfect hair to do that with. So it will be coming soon. Alright, so I got another package. So I'm going to see what it is. Yay, it's the mattress hair. Yahoo, I'm so excited. This is the hair I was talking about. It's so affordable and I just wanted to try something that was non-AliExpress, so. I'm excited. It's the loose wave hair. Yay, I'm so excited. All right, so I just left the gym and I am going into Walmart. I need to get some groceries. Just a couple things. I used to go grocery on, on not Friday, Sundays, and I got off work on Sunday and I was too tired to go. So I, it's Tuesday and I'm like, uh, I have no breakfast, uh, I have no dinner. <laughs> so, ow, I can do my nails. Okay. Liking these carts they have now here. They're just the perfect size. So I gotta figure out how to pop this one like this. Because there's no like baby seat to like put this on. So we're just gonna figure it out. Perfect. My favorite salads. I just got back from the grocery store. I wanted to tell you guys about these grapes that I found, I discovered. So they're called. Muscat Beauty and their Moscato grapes. Like this is the grapes they make Moscato with. And they're so good. They taste just like Moscato. So it's like having Moscato, but it's grapes. So good. So good. Mm. Like I love grapes, but I don't love them that much to like eat the whole pack. But this, I can finish this pack by the end of the day. You just keep popping them and they're so good. Mm. I them at Walmart. So if you're interested, go get them. They're so good. Just like Moscato. Hey guys, so I'm actually pretty shiny. I just washed my face and slathered it with vitamin E oil. So just in case you might think that my face is like extra shiny. But um, I went to work today, <coughs> got home around seven and I went to the gym. I think it's the first time I went to the gym after going to work all day. 
so I'm clapping for myself because I never ever do that but I'm trying to kick it into high gear so I went to the gym a great workout um, today I just did the tread the treadmill first I did the Stairmaster and after the Stairmaster I did the treadmill so I did that all in total I think it was like maybe an hour like 30 like 25 minutes on the Stairmaster and then like 40 minutes on um, the treadmill and then all in all I think I burned like 520 something calories so that was it I did like um, leg presses and weights Monday and Tuesday so today was just a chill day so that's why I just did like cardio stuff <clears throat> so anyways um, <clears throat> what is going on oh I want to show you guys I want to show you guys the unit so this is my max stress unit I'll show you guys a video on this um, sometime this weekend I'm going to record it I don't know when I'm going to post it but yeah it's just uh, I don't have another wig head so that's why it's all like there but this is the Zuri hair and I actually snapchatted this one and told you guys about it a little bit Ugh, my legs so um, this is the Zuri hair and this hair is so good like I didn't expect it to be this good great good but I'm loving it and this is silk based closure never had a silk based closure ever before so I'm excited for that but look how good that is so I made a video on how I made this unit and I made a video on how I made this unit you guys have been asking me to like record how I make my unit so I did so you guys will see that soon but look at this so yeah I snapchatted this and said that I was gonna give it away give this hair away because you guys keep asking and it's not fair you know that I have all these units and like you know I only have one head and mommy takes some of my units but she can't have all of them so I said maybe I'll just give this away I haven't even worn it yet but if I fall in love with it then I might take it back <laughs> so yeah so I'm excited for this one but it is so good Ugh, love it so I'm actually going to um, watch Pretty Little Liars. Um, it came on yesterday, so watching it on Hulu today. I had dinner. I had oatmeal, a bowl of oatmeal, and yeah. So it's like almost ten o'clock. So I'm just gonna call it a night. Um, let's see, something I want to say. Oh yeah. So everyone keeps asking me, you know, like I'm getting ready for my wedding, but I thought I was already married. I don't get it. I, I don't know how to like, like. I thought you're already married. So. Um, for those of you that are like not Nigerian or not African or whatever, um, so we did a traditional wedding in December in Nigeria. In our culture, um, you have to do the traditional wedding. Um, this is like before, um, you know, religion and, um, Christianity came to, um, Nigeria. Um, we had our own cultural traditional wedding so that's what that is and then you know Christianity came and it spread and then we incorporated the white church wedding so um, I'm Catholic so um, we did a traditional wedding in Nigeria in December but we still have to be married in the church um, so that's what's coming up this year so yes I'm married traditionally that's how we say we just like I'm married traditionally but I'm not married in the church yet um, some people do it all the same weekend. I have many friends and cousins that do everything the same weekend. Do like traditional like Friday night and then do the white wedding on Saturday. Um, some people spread it out like I did. Um, that's how we did for Inkies. Um, so some people ask, are you considered married even though you didn't do the white wedding? And you're still getting married but you did traditional. So yeah, so we consider ourselves married like Chris calls me his wife. I call him my husband. We're married. Um, but we're not married like in the traditional church way. So, um, yeah, that's how it is. Um, everyone, you know, sees their wedding and the weddings and the whole celebration and the meaning and the spirituality of everything their own way. You know, so, um, some people call the, the white wedding the real wedding or they call the traditional wedding the real wedding. You know, so it's whatever. It's whatever you want it to be, but that's how we see it. Um, we are married in culturally. We're waiting to get married in the church. 
um, and then you'll be legally married and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, traditional wedding isn't legal marriage like here. Like it's not, it doesn't count as you're legally married here in the U.S. So, um, something else I was going to say about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's how it is. Some Nigerians don't even do traditional weddings, you know, sometimes, um, some do it in Nigeria. Um, if they can afford to go back and the timing is perfect and everything and all that stuff because coordinating a wedding in Nigeria is really crazy so a lot of people really do it wherever they are wherever they live not Nigeria so but I, I know since I was I can remember that I said that when I get married and I'm doing my traditional wedding it's going to be in Nigeria by hook or by crook so I'm, I'm grateful I'm happy that I was able to do my traditional in Nigeria so Something that I'll remember for a long, not for a long time, but forever. So yes. So yeah, so that's how we're doing it. That's how the, our family rolls. So yes, so questions about that. And then, um, oh yeah, you guys been um, asking me questions about my scoliosis video that I did. And everyone keeps asking me like, am I able to like carry children and will I have any problems with that? Um, when I was seeing my doctor before I had my surgery, we did ask, does this um, impact, you know, um, like carrying children and stuff in the future? And it doesn't. Um, the only complication that would be there is like back pain. And a lot of pregnant women experience back pain anyway. So it just expects back pain. And it may be like a little bit more um, painful, you know, than normal or whatever. So we'll see how that goes. But... Um, having that surgery does not inhibit or, you know, affect having or, or caring children in any way. So, which is good. So, we thank God. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for all the love on that video. Um, all the love on that my hair videos. All the videos coming up. Um, leave some video requests. I did ask on Snapchat for video requests. So, I saved them. So, they're coming up. It's been really... April has been really crazy. Really up and down. Um... So it's just really, it, it, I didn't get as much content as I really wanted to, you know, up and stuff because it's just been craziness. So yeah, but hopefully, I don't know. I feel like I say hopefully May will be better, but then all the things that are happening in May, I'm like, how will I have time? <laughs> so we'll see how May goes. Um, but yeah, but thanks guys for, you know, keeping up with me, um, positive comments and you know all my fam here team iffy here like i love you guys you guys are so supportive you guys are so nice and so encouraging and um i just like how we have a, a very positive community and i want to continue to keep it that way sometimes when the, like people that are like outsiders outsiders isn't people that don't know us we've been together for a while so don't know us like you guys and stuff they people start coming in and start like talking reckless you know um you guys pounce on them like with a quickness which is funny but um yeah so thank you guys like i am very grateful that i don't have negativity or i do not attract negative negativity to my con to my content my videos my channel and the comments and stuff so i'm glad you guys are so positive and just you know oh like you guys are just you guys are doing great things every time you guys comment about what you're doing in school, what you're doing with work, as moms, parents, all that stuff, like, you know, it makes it makes me happy and it makes me proud of you guys because it's like, we're all in this together, you know, we're all trying to make it somewhere and we all can use each other's help and, you know, getting through the little steps in life and stuff like that. So, um, I did want to say that um, when seasons change, I feel like, you know, we kind of adjust and go through things. So for all of you guys that are adjusting, going through things, maybe have things, some difficult things coming up, you know, um, I pray that you guys are continue to be strong, be focused, um, and just be happy. Um, try to be positive in everything that you do. Times where you feel like, you know, like, oh, I've done so much and like, I'm, I feel like things aren't going, looking up for me. Like, just keep going. Things will look up for you. And, um, yeah, so get ready for summer, get ready for, it's already spring, but get ready for summer. Um, I do want to do a video on summer vacations, like, 
budget friendly girl summer vacations you know with the girlfriends and stuff and you know how I did that during my years when I was in college and stuff and just having fun living life exploring you know this is like the best time to be alive and the best time to be a woman and you know the best time just to enjoy life before you know finding a partner settling down having kids and like building a new life with you know your whole new family so anyways I'm gonna do a video on that someone asked me to do a video on transitioning transitioning from college to being independent and you know making your own so I won't do a video on that I want to take notes and make sure I'm very thorough with everything like that so that's coming up anyways discussion topics leave them down below video requests leave them down below um and I'll see you guys in my next video Bye.